Well, hello. How was everyone's weekend? Um, I'm going to be posting this after, but I'm just going to share to my group. So just two seconds, if my phone will let me. There we go. That should have done that. Now this lighting, I don't know what's going on, um, but I do not look like this white in person, so it's throwing off my red lippy too. So just keep that in mind. But I did want to get a message across about red lipstick, okay? So I'm actually looking quite tanned in person, and this um, lippy is more of an, it, it's, it is an orange red, but if I was super white, I wouldn't want to wear this color, and it makes me look white in the camera. But don't worry about it. Good morning, Kim, how are you? coming on say hello so I know you're there it's gonna be a quick tutorial this morning just because um, as I said our house is an escrow we had inspection yesterday things are moving really really quickly good morning Megan um, and for those of you living in California I don't know we're cloudy this morning so I'm taking it as autumn and it's cooler good morning Naleta honey um, so I'm wearing some plaid, you watch, by 11 o'clock it'll be 90 degrees and I'll be back in my summer stuff, but while I can get away with it, I'm going to do it, right? Good morning Jamie, how are you? So, now I don't normally wear red lipstick, and as I said, me looking in this camera, I don't know if it looks that bad on you, but that you can see, but it doesn't look that flattering right now. Um, but in person it actually looks really super gorgeous okay so the message I wanted to get across this morning and I wanted to show you my look quickly was the eyes I actually only wore two colors this morning I've actually worn um, gingerly and you can purchase these singly it's a really gorgeous kind of pumpkin spice but with a dip, bit of depth to it, if that makes any difference. I know, loving the fall, Jamie, tell me about it. Well, this is kind of, I'm pushing it because it's going to be so hot later. Oh, thank you, Connie. <laughs> yeah, I wasn't quite sure. So, um, in person, it looks really, really good. But I just wanted to um, show you different looks that I'm wearing. I'm not afraid to come on if I look a little bit funny in the camera. Um, <laughs> But I'm, not, I'm quite tanned and it does look really cool because it's an orange red and I want to show you the lip liner I used with it. So anyway, this is Gingerly and then it's the colour I've just done above, which is a gorgeous kind of fall colour. And then I used um, Fervent with it on my lid and kind of I did all over my lid this time and just brought it above my crease because I have hooded eyes. And under my eyes I used both colours again, so I always do a wider girth under my eye with the lighter color and then I do the darker color closer to my lid and that way you kind of get a dimension going with the eyes upper and lower and it really opens them up oh thank you Nalita yeah actually would you believe as I keep saying this is a maternity shirt <laughs> it's a cool comfy plaid maternity shirt that I can just kind of pull in the waist I could wear a bath if I wanted to I'm kind of wearing it a bit boho style today um, but as I said, it's quite warm and I'm going, damn, I'm going to have to take this off soon. <laughs> so that's my eye colours. As I said, you can get those separately on my website. I'll post the link below. Feel free to share this tutorial too so people can see the different colours. Um, my uh, um, lips today. So I've used Pompous Lip Liner. I wanted to use a little bit more of a mauve um you know, burgundy red to offset the bright orange on me. I do, I did put a bright red um, lip liner that matches this perfectly with it. Oh, thanks, Nalita. I love you, Sharon. I love the color of stick. Oh, thank you so much. Sorry, I just missed the name. It scrolled up. I went to start to see my hair because the words were showing up too much. Oh. That's funny, Kimberly. I know, actually, to be honest, my roots are going to be showing more in this than they were in my, my other hair. I, I liked the shadow root because when my greys come through, you can see it. I'm going to have to colour this a lot more, but I can do it myself. So that's a little bit of a difference. Um, so we'll see. We'll see how we go. So anyway, I used Pompous Lip Liner and then I used Vain. Vain. Opulence Lipstick. Okay, we do have a bluer red in the liquid lipsticks that I was going to put on, but this is more of a, even though it's got blues in it, I could wear both. Um, and the one thing is, is I don't tend to ombre 
red lips. And the reason being is when you start ombreing them, you can go more pinky. So you've got pink and red in your lips. And that's kind of a cool look if you want that look. But I wanted a red today. So that's the thing with ombreing red lips. You've got to be careful. It can go a little bit pinky and change. Okay. So um, vain, pompous, gingerly, and fervent. Okay. Um, awesome fall colours. Now, everyone says over a certain age, you shouldn't wear red lipstick. So not true. As I said, there's no rules in makeup. Um, it's the tone you use, the lip liner you put with it, you must wear a lip liner. Um, I think a lot of it is people don't know how to apply it and they have fine lines around their lips and it may bleed a lot more. If you use a good primer, use a good lip liner. I've never had my lipstick bleed since I've been using Unique, okay? So, um, and it's not harsh if you have the right tone. I can't wait for this to get longer. I just want this longer. Um, for the right tone. And um, and as long as you have um, used like a good... Sometimes I might put over my lips before this as translucent powder, okay? But mine have never bled since I've been using Unique when I've had a red, if that makes any sense. So the blush, I actually used um, a dusty pink blush today. I know. As I said, it can go with reds. It goes with basically any colour. So that was in the shade Sweet, that dusty pink. I, as I said, I use it all the time, all year round. Um, so that's way better. The As I said, that only two eyeshadows today. And I might need to blend that a little bit more. I don't want to blend it too much because when I open my eye, I want to be able to see that darker shadowing before gingerly, if that makes any sense. I was going to come on and do one eye, but as I said... We're in escrow, it's gone crazy this week. We, you know, if all went well yesterday with the inspection, we'll be out of here in probably 14 days. So I haven't even started packing. We've done a couple of wardrobe boxes, closet boxes, that are in the garage. I haven't done anything else, and I don't know how I'm gonna get it done with two little ones, because Sadie is like at my feet the whole time. Good morning, Kim, how are you? So that is basically it, and the light's changed again. See how I've gone white again? Like, it's just amazing how this light's changing. I don't know, it's quite dark here today. So if you live in California, we're overcast, which is kind of nice for a change. Um, good morning, Lisa. Um, so it's kind of nice for a change to have this overcast weather. I said to Sky, it's quite funny, we went to a store the other day, and there was umbrellas there. I said, oh my gosh, we're going to need umbrellas in Dallas, because we get thunderstorms there the whole time. Um, or rain. I wouldn't want to use an umbrella in thunderstorms, to be honest. <laughs> Talk about a, like a walking um, electricity beacon. No thanks. Um, I'm from New Zealand, so I know a little bit about thunderstorms. Um, rain here. Oh, really? Do you get a lot of rain in West Virginia? Sorry, I'm not that familiar with a lot of the US. Um, I should get to know it a little bit better. I think that's, even in the questions they ask you for your neutralization test, your citizens test, I don't think they ask about the states. They ask about these other odd questions, because I've got the questionnaires with me, where I've got 100 questions I've got to learn, and they only ask you like three of them. Yeah, I used to get a little rain in New Zealand. That's why I loved California, so I'm kind of a little bit worried about Dallas having, you know, kind of a lot of rain, but I think the rain comes in fast and moves out fast, which I wouldn't mind, as long as I get some sun. Yeah, I know. I know, Nolita. I'm like, oh, I don't mind. As I said, I don't mind rain if it rolls in and rolls out. If it's kind of stuck there all day and you had three days and it, oh, I hate that. I don't like that at all. I don't mind it in California because I can't even remember the last time it rained here, uh, especially in Temecula, um, where we're living right now. So if you have any questions regarding this, don't be afraid to try a red lip. Um, I am going to go and take this off today because I'm going for a walk around the lake. <laughs> so I'm not going to um, wear this. And I've got to go and do the, the trick, the finger test, where you put your finger in and you pull it out. Because I just noticed it was a little bit on my teeth. See that? So you just normally go like this. I'm going to do it. Okay? And that will stop them getting on your teeth. That's all you have to do. Okay? Um, and there's, I saw another comment and I just missed it. I'm so sorry if I missed it. So I'm going to get going anyway. Hope that was helpful. I'll take some photos, post them below. I'll also post the link below um, so you can have a look around. And my hair's just the usual kind of messy pixie with this side. I kind of tuck these little bits under there until this all gets down. 
and this side is my longer side so I'll tuck that behind undercut as always and my undercut is going to show my greys really quickly I think unfortunately um, it's just the nature of the beast you turn the later and I hope you all had a wonderful weekend and we'll talk soon okay Oopsie, it's not hanging up on me.